Hi, this is Queen of Cups, and I'm here to do your weekend read. Oh my god! See? I had my human type necklace around my... And it done fell off. That's because my son wanted to stop me before I got up here. So that's what it is. Y'all decided not to do a blackout. I know y'all like this bitch and these blackouts. I understand. And you know I got to fix my altar up. Like, you know, and you know I love my candles. I ain't got no candles right now. I just, and you know, whew. So we're going to use this one. Excuse my nails because I got to get my nails done too. You know I'm trying to work on my throat chakra. Because you know, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll be saying stuff I don't need to be saying. Whew. But you know. That Capricorn Moon, I tell it like it is. I tell the truth. You can't get mad at me. Truth will set you free. Might hurt a little bit, but hey. Spade is a spade. The ace is an ace, baby. Okay. Yeah, it's it got some little sunlight. You know, a little sunlight, a little sunlight. Uh, I want to um I'll probably be back up here definitely next week. I'm gonna try to get these um April readings out. Anywho, this is just going to be a general reading um, for the weekend. This is my resonance every sign out there. Anything you need will be down in the description box below. I would like to take the time to thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribe. That is real crazy, though. My necklace just fell off like that. I knew, I knew it, though. I knew it. Not that I know. I knew it. I knew it. I already felt somebody. Somebody going to try it today. As they always do. You know, I just be trying to mind my business around here, y'all. I try to tell you. I, I just... You get y'all like, you know I be telling y'all. Y'all mind y'all business, I mind my business. That's what I be trying to do. That's what I be trying to do. Matter of fact, they told me let's use these ones instead first. So we're going to switch it up, switch it up. I got some more cards coming. I'm excited. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I don't know who put these Aquariuses. I'm trying to tell you these Aquariuses. Aquarius, it is the age of Aquarius. Aquarius, what 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 you doing? What, what why? Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus. What y'all got going on? It's okay, baby. Y'all know I love y'all. Yeah, I know I love y'all. Especially them Aquarius is my daughter's an Aquarius, Lord. My brother's an Aquarius, Lord. Okay, so cycle. Some cycle is completing or wanted to be again. We we this cycle card will keep coming out. The number six might be significant. Um, some cycle is coming up again this weekend. Here we go again, Charlie Boy. Come on for the Charlie Boy. Here we go again with these cycles. Home, dealing with the home, something in the home, 35. This is maybe your age, or um, this is a significant number to you. This might be someone in the home that's around this age. Um, someone definitely might be getting a message during this time this weekend as well about a cycle not finishing, wanting to um, start back up, pay attention to the signs. The number 10 might be significant to you as well. Look at this here. <laughs> and alchemy okay so somebody might be trying to conjure up some stuff okay they say draw four that's it i'm, I'm done um mm, mm. Ooh. what we got going on some of y'all some of y'all Somebody mad? Who mad? Who is mad? I'm getting somebody mad. Who mad though? Why they mad, silly? Uh, why, why they mad? Let me move it over so you can see a little sunlight and stuff. You know, I like it. Um, I'm going to try to do this summer more readings outside. I got to, yeah, fix that, my backyard up. I mean, you know how that winter shit go. Whew. Yeah, the inside fixed. You know? Fix the inside, then fix the outside, you know. Can't start out the outside, then the shit, and it can't clean the inside. So I did the inside somewhat, because you know I gotta fix this. 
but um don't worry about this because my r tour is fixed so don't worry about this it's gonna get fixed um i just haven't sat down here in a while um well yeah some of y'all might be thinking about cleaning up your backyard something with your backyard hosting events this weekend in your backyard um uh, wanting to get out there and tackle the backyard trying to get some sunlight something like that um okay so let's draw moral on these um somebody definitely get a message this weekend somebody wants to message somebody i just hope um don't nobody got an attitude you know i, I don't know about it let me turn up the light oh i hope my my phone don't go dead my phone ain't never charged ask anybody in my family that know they know they got like, her phone ain't never charged i try damn i try you know all you can do is try and that's what i do i tried to charge it a little bit before uh, let's see let's pull one on this cycle what you got for these cycles what's going on with these cycles please for this weekend let's see what we got going on with these things yep told somebody me look this shit here who is it harpo who is it? I told you one of them damn airside. Probably the Aquarius and try to say, I don't know what's wrong. What's in the air? Why, baby? But somebody feel like this cycle is not over. And they mean this shit ain't going to be over. Okay? Okay, so they're coming in. Like I said, they might be sending you a message. Might be trying to come to you, see you. Um, with anticipation, anxiety. Ooh, child. I feel it. Okay, yep told you about a give and take they not over this shit they want another cycle another cycle okay so this is what they're coming in rushing in for they want another cycle with you they feel like it wasn't a proper give and take at first and then they want to give a proper give and take Ooh, this energy is strong baby it's hitting me um well this is also yourself for some of you guys if you're not dealing with someone this is um, you taking charge, you going after for what you want, you giving yourself a proper give and take, you having balance within yourself, knowing how much to give out, how much to um, not give out uh, when it comes to um, certain things, especially in the financial area, um, area, how much you're willing to pay, put in, or something like that this weekend, okay? So one more on this, we're going to do three on these cards. Oh no, they said no. You just go and see oh sorry excuse me it was like no you just go told you somebody want to offer so I told you some shit ain't done some shit ain't done i told you i tell you my cars don't lie baby don't lie all the energy and i always tell people i'm the type of person that feed off energy baby you could tell me all day what you want to tell me if that energy don't match up baby listen to me it's gonna irritate my soul negative energy irritate my this how bad it does it to me it irritates my soul baby okay so this is why i got um i, I can't take a lot okay because i feel it that deep okay um and i don't like it i told y'all try to mind my business y'all mind y'all business that's what we do around here we mind our business we sip some extra pure life tea that's what we do and we um mind our business okay because all i drink is tea and water okay what we gonna do um definitely feel like they came with empty promises that before i feel like some for some of you they're coming back with these empty promises they probably at their wit's end don't know what to offer how to offer um they just know they don't want this to end somebody is mad honey i'm getting this mad feeling well they just they're so irritated well mm -hmm. why who child i don't know why but somebody irritated they will be my running dry too. They like, listen, I just don't know. Okay. Um, for some of you, like I said, I feel like this person is definitely coming back with um, desperation. Don't know what to do, how to do. All they know is they don't want this cycle to end when it comes to you too. Lord child. Yep. Um, they don't want you to walk away emotionally. And they felt like you already did, so they're trying to come offer some emotion to you. You know, um, 
eight plus one is nine so you are their wish fulfillment and i feel like i feel like they had a bing moment like oh that person is the one okay Ooh, child. um so this is what this person is discovering this weekend like i said you might get a message regarding uh this situation with you and this person things are coming to light this might be at night when you get this message this person might can't sleep let's pull one on home yep your twin flame or your other half might be a gemini i told them air signs <sighs> baby i love them uncle gemini i told y'all before i love them because they just I, I don't know i love them that's all i'm gonna say is i love them i love them never personally dealt with the one with the uh, sun sign moon sign maybe but definitely not a sun sign um air sign i can't believe my necklace fell off i knew it told you somebody's coming uh also too i think we had a windy day down here where i live at and i always say when the wind blows it blows something in so if you had a windy windy day where you live always i always say that with the weather very connected with the weather the weather as well when it's windy like that it tends to blow in something whether it be hold on i gotta get my chair right Whew. okay whether it's good or bad the wind tends to blow something okay your way so i already been feeling it coming i just i just shake my head you know hopefully i'm going on vacation before this shit happens we're gonna see but it's the weekend I got to get through that first. Uh, but enough about me. I told you I'm buying y'all business. Ooh. Okay. Um, definitely the love or something about a home you might have shared with somebody. A relationship you don't share with somebody. You're probably not talking to this person right now. Yep, they probably blocked or you're blocked. Told you. Told you. Um, I feel like uh, this person moved out or you put this person out. What have you. Um... This person maybe was blocked about the decision that they wanted to make. Now they have made a decision where they want to come back and rekindle something with you. Definitely could be an air sign. Air sign all on this baby. Fire sign as well. Leo Aries Sagittarius. I feel like this King of Wands doesn't want to play the game anymore. I told you they like I I know now. I know. I feel like they got burning desire, passion when it comes to you. They figure you are the one. They want to move this forward. Okay. Get a strong Leo as well. Yeah, I told you. They want to move on. But this king of <laughs> this king of wands are looking at how they're blocked. They're trying to figure out how can they maneuver around this block that you have you put up between you two. Like I said, you might not be talking, you might have blocked this person. So they're trying to figure out how can they move around this block and continue to move forward with you this weekend. Like I said, you might be getting a message, an email, um, they might pop up somewhere because they show it is feeling some type of way, okay? I'm gonna tell you that right now. You got somebody in there feeling somebody is who shall. I don't know. But uh they not feeling it. They not feeling the separation. They don't want the separation. And they coming. Now I I my top my favorite movies, and I've been getting this, and I meant to t do Aquarius one, but it had went out. But my top movies is what the love gotta do with it. Um that's the team to turn the eye, the color purple. It used to be, um, what's that one with Jody and Yvette? That one. And Crooklyn. Oh, I love me some Crooklyn. Lord, child, I love me some Crooklyn. But, um, I keep getting here, this I here, this here I do jump, okay? So, uh, <laughs> I kept, uh, I kept getting squeaking Sophia last week. But, um, yeah. Uh, this, this here, y'all do jump, okay? And Harpo. Ain't, ain't playing that shit, okay? Harpo, Harpo won't won't his Sophia back, okay? I don't know where the hell Squeak is at, but um, yeah, okay, okay. It says pay attention to the signs, okay? We all know ten is uh, the highest number, so these um, signs will be very significant to you. 
okay like i say you might get more action at night okay justice you will get justice um you might be um libra i told you the air sign i told you libra might be um you might be dealing with the libra as well but you this person want justice i feel this is not you this is not none of my viewers this is the person you're dealing with because mm -mm. you know we don't do that around here we we mind our business that's what we do we mind our business okay we keep it moving do what we got to do we mind our business because that's how we are around here on my team we we don't mm -mm. we ain't got time for it we got other shit to do we read books we you know take care of children we make money that's what we we don't we sip tea we don't we don't do drink water we don't gauge in that stuff okay so this is somebody that like i said want justice when it comes to you in this situation they feel like their justice was not <laughs> they did not have justice and they want to come right their wrongs when it comes to this also too you might be hearing something about a legal situation this weekend involving this person or this person might be discussing this with you okay <clears throat> let's see what else we got yeah, judgment. This person told you this person were to make a judgment. They were ready to either rekindle this or they have made a judgment within their stuff to know that they want to come your way. They're ready to give you a proper give and take. Some of you that might even want to marry you. You might be going to the justice of peace with this person, okay? Instead of having a full blown wedding or what have you. They probably can't wait. And this is what they're saying. I can't wait. Okay. Let me check. Okay, I gotta plug my phone in a few. So I might have to pause it and plug it in. I gotta find a, I gotta unplug that thing. Okay, but um, might be a Taurus as well that you're dealing with. But like I said, they're definitely with you. I feel that spirit is trying to nudge them to come forward. They know who you are. They see who you are. They know it's time to um emerge with you. Okay. Yep, might be a Capricorn. I feel like they feel um. That they somebody is obsessed too. That's the word I heard. Somebody is obsessed. This is probably why they feel they want to come in with an attitude, or they just feel antsy. You know, like they have to come towards you. They're obsessed. They um, some they might have um, quit some type of addictions that they had, drinking, smoking, or what have you, or they might have had a sexual addiction or something like that. I feel like they have have these things under control. Somebody, um, like I say, I just keep getting obsessed. They probably. I'm obsessed to the point that they have to have you. Mm, no, okay. Um, they feel like this is a soul contract when it comes to seeing you and them. They do feel like um some things are toxic and um or this is somebody that's in the way might be a third party or what have you that was making this toxic between you two and now they see who is who and who they should be with. Oh, I like the way I did these cards this time. I like it a lot. Yep, you and this person is not um, talking to each other. You're definitely on a break, but like I said, but they're definitely coming their way. They've been thinking about you, obsessing over you. They can't see. This is what they've been doing. This is what they've been doing, baby. You on that man. You constantly on that man. They probably been... Mm, I don't even want to... We're going to skip over that part. Um... But yeah, they definitely been dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, wonder what you're doing, how you're doing it, when you're doing it, who you're doing it with. Um, uh, they probably been praying, asking God, everything like that, okay? It's not funny. Y'all know I don't be trying to be laughing, but I mean, but people, people, that's all I can say, people. Um, like I said, I definitely feel they want to come your way. Let me pull one more on this one. Spirit has definitely been sending them signs on who you are. Look at that goddamn air sign. I told you. I told you this damn air sign. Um, they they haven't expressed their feelings. I feel like now they were to express their feelings. They've been told to express their feelings. They know they're about to lose you. They have no choice but to express their feelings because this is um, it's like a. I heard do or die is not that extreme, but either they say do or die as um, far as this relationship. Either you're going to go forward and give it your all or it's going to die off. And I'm going to, Spirit is like, I'm going to send this person somebody that wants to uh, go the full mile with this 
person, excuse me, have the same energy as this person. Ooh, somebody ain't want, they ain't want me to say that. Okay. I have the same um, energy as this person as far as wanting to move forward and proceed um, as in a serious commitment, okay? And actually show them what it is they want to be shown and vice versa, okay? Let's pull some on this alchemy. Okay. King of Pentacles, Earth sign again. I feel like this person has a lot to give. They held back. Now they're not wanting to hold back. I feel like this person is well known as um, far as having stability, being stable, saving money, things like this. This person might have been some person that was tangled in a whole bunch of things, finances, um, um, legal obligations and things like that so they're trying to get this up out of this type of thing also somebody might have been trying to trap them um as well Ooh, i'm tired of getting that same stuff hopefully we're gonna move but i tell people when you do the cards the same energy that you're in the cards gonna be it's gonna stay in so until we move out of that or somebody move away from us with that energy they just gonna keep coming Yeah, they definitely want to, um, for some of you, I feel like you're definitely going to, um, not accept this person back. You're going to move forward when it comes to this. Um, hold on, you guys. It's about to die. It's about to die. Hold on. Pause. I'm going to call. Okay, you guys, I got to charge. I'm trying to tell you it's going to die. We can't have it die because we in the middle of this reading um either you're going to um not accept this person's offer or um this person is definitely um leaving somebody that they may have took care of was in this position where they was um the sole provider and they don't want to do that anymore i feel like they want an equal give and take when it comes to a partnership and they saw that with you and now they want to come back and um have that with you okay let's see yep they're coming towards the queen of wands um they're per the bottom you might be having um the child with this person or you might have children with this person this person might be with your um empress emperor um i feel like like i said this person with the queen of wands you already know she's sexy she She's on her shit. She looks good, feel good. She just has this insecurity about her, but she also doesn't play. So I feel like they know already um, who you are. They have discovered this when it comes to this. Some of you, they feel like you might be in this mood where you don't, um, you might tell it like it is, and um, they might be afraid of that. I am still getting that type of feeling where um, they feel like they have to come aggressive because of the type of person that you are okay strong will strong minded things like that okay um but they do they do have passion for you they are obsessed um with you okay some of you they, lord i'm not some of them they think you put a spell on them i am not this is my first whole attracted to you but they don't know this is um spiritually in the valley got it Lord child, I'm trying to say, yep, somebody from your past, somebody you was in the way once. And look at this, I told you that goddamn Aquarius, I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, there's definitely somebody in the past, I feel like they was looking at all the hurt in the, um, the past that they have been through and not realizing what they had. Well, y'all don't mind my car, so I gotta get some more. Okay, look at that, it's still up, but you can still see. I feel like they was focusing on the hurt with other relationships, other people, other emotions. They wasn't giving it all, and now they see that once they turn around, once they um, have this enlightenment, and pay attention to the signs, they know who you are, and they're ready to um, offer, you, offer you these cups, okay? Pull some alphabet. Oh, hold on. Let's do one more. One more. One more. One more. Pull one more. Y'all, my candle did glow. I done ran the batteries out of it. Ooh. 
I was gonna fix the mold, but I ain't feel like getting fancy for y'all. I don't get fancy too much. Told you. They're ready to offer you some type of give and take uh, when it comes to you too. They've been manifesting this. Told you they dreaming about you, obsessed over you, feeling like they don't want this shit to be over with. Okay? Um. So you're expecting some type of, I'm trying to tell you this weekend. This weekend. Some of you might be wanting to plant purple flowers in your garden. Something about the color purple. I'm telling you. Something about the color purple. P is for pride. A feeling that make you stand tall. I feel like this person, um, pride maybe was getting in the way and this is why they couldn't express what they wanted to express when it came to you two or how they felt period about you in this situation. Now I feel like they're putting their pride to the side. Yeah, this might be a BL. Putting their pride to the side and um, coming to express exactly what it is and how they want to move forward when it comes to you. Okay, let me tell y'all something about this weekend. Don't, don't do it this weekend. Don't be out here. Okay. And you know what? I did have a past event this weekend. It won't deal with me. It was dealing with my cousin. But boy was that person mad. That's crazy. Not this you know, I, I told y'all about not this one. But that's crazy though. And it was this it was the same example. That person was like, I do everything. I'm like, oh, shit. Y'all don't want that drama, so. I just be sipping my tea looking at everybody else's drama. I mean, because sometimes when you don't have drama, you know you got to be sitting with popcorn looking at somebody else's drama. Oh, shit. Because it's a little entertainment. And it's for mama. Your number one girl. Some of you might be getting close to your mama or asking your mama from the situ um, help with the situation. Or this is somebody them talking to their mother, mother because they can see who's not who to go to or whatever, but have you, some of you are becoming moms this weekend, actually having babies this weekend, or um, some of you guys might find out the sex of your baby, okay? Q is for queen. She rules the castle and the court. Okay, I told you. Somebody recognize who you are. You are the queen. You are the one. Okay. Also, too, this weekend, you are sitting with your crown pretty on top of your head. You're not worried about anything. You feel blessed. You feel um, confident, whole, high, and mighty. Um, as far as having your things together, um, nobody's perfect, but um, you'll be in this feeling where you don't want anybody to fuck up your vibe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is how this person is being. You anyway sitting um, with you. I'm telling you, y'all, this person is not having it at all. They feel some type of ways. I can feel it like their blood is boiling like how dare she or he Ooh, I is for islands in the Caribbean to the south now some of you might be traveling as well this is this person traveling to you okay they're coming back like I said traveling to the home um yeah some of you might go to the um I'm going to get an x-ray, like I said, maybe find out what you're having, um, something like that. Something with finding out what you're having or something. Um, I can't quite put my finger on that one because I don't think, excuse me, the doctor's office is open on the weekend. But, hey, I could be wrong. Um, or some of you just anticipating on trying to figure out what you're having and you want to know. Um, 
yeah, I really, I really think somebody might be going on a vacation, retreating somewhere, doing something. Um, or this is somebody coming back to you. They might be trying to take you on a vacation. Um, or this is um, this person coming back to you. They feel like this is a your home is safe, is sacred, is you know, it's all um, comfortable. It, it's it's home to them, and I guess they're ready to come back home. Let's see. Somebody is you can be um, dealing with the Sagittarius as well too. Somebody is definitely trying to manifest you back. Well, this is you them, but I feel like it's them trying to manifest you back. Quiet time. Take some take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. This weekend, that's how I feel like you're going to be. Isn't pretty? You don't got time for it. Trying to figure out um um. What can you do to settle your mind even more, give you more peace, things like that, okay? Scared space, create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. This is what you're going to be doing. I feel you're going to be at peace, mind of your business and all this shit going to come. Because I feel like it's not your energy. I feel like you're at peace with the decisions that you have made up until now. And you are taking accountability for the things that have happened. Um, whether you did it or not. Or did um, have actions in these or not. I feel like you're at peace with a whole bunch of things. Okay. Some of you do need to meditate even more. Or um, meditate just period before these things start to happen. Or after these things happen. Just meditate. Start delegating, ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So I feel like this time, um, this is what you're going to do. You're going to be asking spirit as well to help you um, to move forward, move away from situations that does not benefit you, um, move towards the situations that do benefit you. For some of you, you might wear a lot of hats this weekend. You don't probably want to be seen. You want to be low key. Um, you don't. Um, it's just something in the air where you just don't want to. Not necessarily be bothered, but you want you you at peace and you want peace. Um, this is how you feel um, when it comes to your energy. Okay. Told you, man, to your business. Infinite supplies, you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And this is how you're feeling. You know you're blessed. You know you, um, you're close to God. And you already know um, that you're protected spiritually when it comes to certain situations. And you have no worries, okay? I feel like this is the first energy trying to come towards you and get you all rowdy and worried and things like that. But um, just remember to stay in sand, stay in the calm state, stay in the calm mind because this is not your energy. And you don't want to proceed, have that energy perceived onto you to get you riled up because this person feels a certain type of way or bringing that type of energy, okay? Just do like I do. Look at their ass like they done lost their mind. And they have. And you just look at them. Like I told you, there you go again. It came up like squeak did in silly. They said, I just joined silly. Just looked at her ass like, bitch, what the hell is you talking about? Okay. And if you say so, I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. I knock your ass out, but okay. And you just gotta look at him like, okay, baby, all right. Mhm. Mm Anything else you wanna say? Like I give a damn. And why are you so riled up? Who shall? You just gotta look at him sometimes. Get him that look that mama look like. What in the hell do you got going on now? I'm telling you, that's the way I look. Just look at the ass. Like, you sure? You okay? What 
what else do you need me to help you with? Okay, so somebody might need your help this weekend as well. This is probably why they're reaching out, reaching out in the wrong type of way. Maybe going to tip a tantrum uh, when it comes to trying to get your attention. And I feel like you just like, some of y'all just shaking your damn head. Like, I cannot. No. Y'all know my motto. I say no. No. Mm-mm, baby. Call me the auntie. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's just like you're going to need to meditate this weekend to block these negative energies that's coming your way that you will benefit greatly from meditation. It will ground you. Okay. Yep. You are the empress. Some of you might want to go talk to somebody that's older than you. Somebody that's, um, they saying married. That's been married for a long time and um, is a high priestess or empress, okay? Um, that's very spiritual. Um, I'm going to talk at the end of that because everybody that's just married and been married for a long time. And, whew, I told you I got the blue on my nails for a reason. <sighs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I'm practicing. Practicing what to say, how to say it, when to say it. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. The Lord knows that's the only thing I have been trying to pray for on my journey. And I've been praying for this a long time. If you know me, you know I've been praying for a long time about my mouth. Whoo, this mouth here. I've been trying. And the Lord knows I've been trying. I've been trying. I mean, because I tell it like it is. You can't get mad. Ooh. Me and this co worker. We was good friends. Mm, probably still is. We just haven't gotten in touch with each other. But we always say the world is sensitive. It's shit. Always in their emotions. Always in their feelings. But why? Go read a book. Oh. Girl, I get irritated. See? Tell me what get irritated real fast. Anywho. You might want to talk to somebody like that. Um, an empress or high priestess or what have you. To help you get grounded. See clearing in this uh, situation or this is you leveling up after you have meditated, contemplated on the things you need to contemplate on, whether um, it's going to benefit you moving forward or not. Um, you are, most of you are in that Empress power where you know exactly what to do and um, have preached this moment when you when you know what to do, you hold the key, you have the key, you know already spiritually um, in the 5D and 3D what to do. You see it before it's coming. Some of you are seers, you already know. Um, empaths as well, so you already know. Yeah, some of you got many things to do. I feel like you have um, many projects, many um, responsibilities to do. So the uh, Spirit is letting you know, be with, um, they're with you and ask for help. Because you don't have time for this extra shit. So that's why they want you to just ask for help. To go ahead and block that shit out the way. Because you already got shit you got to work on. Business, family, uh, 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 work, things like that. So you don't have time for that extra stuff, okay? And also they want you to see clearly as well um, the things that are coming your way. I feel like um, you have so many things you're working on that you want to see come to light and this is what you're focusing on. For some of you guys that are saying you're not going to be able to just do it all by yourself. Ask me for help. I'm here. Because it can be, your judgment can be cloudy. Also, um, something to do with Mercury as well, too. I don't know exactly where Mercury is at, but something to do with Mercury as well. I got to brush up on my astrology. I'm trying to tell y'all. See, I got a whole bunch of shit to do. I'm asking for help. I got a lot of shit to do. Um, so, that might be very significant this weekend as well. I 
feel like somebody might have tried to keep you in this seven of cups moment, but they couldn't because you are the empress, you are the high priestess, you already seen through the smoking mirrors and clouds and everything like that. Somebody tried to cover up for you, okay? You are trying to get to your ten of cups, your ten of pentacles, and somebody tried to stop that. You're definitely going to have this spiritual awakening or this moment um, when it comes to this weekend about what's going on. You will see clearly the seven of cups will not cloud your judgment, will not keep you cloudy, um, and you will have a moment where you realize, okay, for some of you guys, it would be a shocking moment, so you might have something that is going to totally take you off surprise. Like I said, it might be this person, might be a message, might be yourself or what you discover about yourself this weekend, self-discovery, okay? I feel like... I feel like when you do, I don't know, to me, I always, I always question this card. Because it, it looks like he's falling. I'm going to use it. It looks like he's falling, but it also looks like he's doing a damn hand, one hand thing. Like, I just caught myself just in time. I don't know about it. I feel like for some of you might... It, it might explode, you might explode, but not too much to the point that it takes you over the edge. Um, or you might um, get heated over this um, this discussion because I feel like you might be trying to stand up for what you, you believe um, is right in your own right, okay, or what is right, period. And um, this person is definitely trying to cause a tower moment, okay, trying to make you fall. Um, but I feel like you're going to catch yourself. Let's pull one more. I feel like you're going to catch yourself, um, with this for some of you guys. And for others, you, like I say, you just don't have a revelation about yourself. You're going to find some information within yourself about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you're going to be like, wait, wait, bitch, wait, wait, before I pop off. I forgot. I'm going towards my Teddy Pinnacles. I forgot. Let me, let me stay humble. Let me, let me relax a little bit, okay? So I feel like that's what it is. This person might try to come throw you off course because you're the type of person that you are, okay? Some of you want to know this is what this person wants to do. They want to have a fight. They want to pick with you. They want to stir you up, stir your emotions up, Okay. my Libra. Ooh, these stars want to talk. They jump right up out of my hand. They got something to tell me. What they want to tell us? What they want to tell us today? Hold on, you guys. I dropped my card. Ooh. Yeah, I know I'm a fake girl. Uh-oh. Let's see what they got my camera up there. I ain't adding it neither. I'm going to tell you that right now. Y'all already know I am. Y'all just going to see this drop. That's all I got for you, baby. I just like, I just don't want to edit it. Somebody, see, you told you my cards want to talk. Somebody like, no, nah, I think that's enough talking. No, you're mad. That person is mad. And we're going to pull these cards. Yes, we are. So, somebody feels some type of way. Who don't want this message to come out? Because you need to know I'm going to post it. You need to know I'm going to post it. Somebody made it. I told you. I told you. Alright, let's see. One more shuffle. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Tell the truth. Told you. They coming. They coming. Communicate with integrity. You may need to level with someone. This person could be even you. Are you saying you're fine when you di when you don't mean it? Are you swallowing your knees because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide the truth, it eventually comes out in destructive ways. Act with integrity <laughs> and say what's on your mind. While honestly, while honesty may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness are worth it. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath. Y'all know. 
Shit. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. I told you. Told that day. I'm trying to figure. Alright. This one wanted to shake a little bit on me. Alright. One more shuffle. They say no, stop right there. They say no, stop right there. Notice the blessings. Gratitude puts us in a position of having instead of wanting, thanking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and take stock of our blessings, we get more blessings. What are you grateful for? Share with others. Share with yourself and others. Told you some of you might have that realization like I am blessed. I don't have to put up with this shit. Yeah, you're right. You don't. And I'm just going to say what I need to say. Okay. Ah, are you serious? Somebody really don't want this shit to come out. What is, what is it wrong with it? Okay. And this listen card fell on the, somebody really wants you to listen. It fell on the floor. Oof. I'm not going to take it, but somebody wants you to listen. Told you. Told you. They acting up. They acting up, up. What are you mad for? What y'all do to them people? Why is they mad? My people are like, I ain't did nothing but sit here and drink some tea and water. That's all I did. Give each other space. Sometimes it's hard to work out our differences when we don't have enough space. So take a step back to create room for authentic conversation. Perhaps we need to consult with a therapist to guide you through the emotional fixes. Or maybe you just need some new tools for healthy communication. Whatever it is, don't try to fix it now. Give each other space. Told you. I just feel like you're going to be like, no, <laughs> this is not the way we should be communicating. This is not how I want to communicate with you. Why are you so mad? What is the problem? I feel like uh, you have, for some of you, you have no problem being with this person because it's like a simple fix of maybe respect, um, maybe um, respectful communication.